And welcome back. With me now is Josh Slavik with Keller Williams. Welcome back, Josh. Thanks for coming today. So what's happening in real estate this month? Hey, thanks for uh, having me on, Stacy. Uh, things have been definitely busy. We actually celebrated a, having a record month as a team. We finished number one in our office out of almost 80 agents. So uh, very grateful for that. I definitely couldn't have done it without my amazing team, though, and uh, their dedication to helping our clients. Congratulations on a great month. So what else is going on for you? Hey, uh, thanks for asking. The, so first quarter sales are up. You know, we're about one and a half percent ahead of la where we were last year, which last year was the second best year on record. Our sale prices are up about four and a half percent for Dane County. You know, we're really back to pre-recession levels for both sales and prices. But the big news is that, uh, you know, active listings that are currently available is down 30 percent uh, from this time last year with only two months of inventory, which means it's really uh, there's big competition for the best homes and many going for the asking price or possibly even more. Wow, good news for home sellers then, right? Yeah, definitely great news for home sellers. Actually, one thing we typically see during a seller's market is that you know more potential sellers might be considering trying to sell it on their own without using a real estate agent, going the for sale by owner route, which is interesting from my perspective as an agent, right? Because last year we helped 48 people with their move. You know, compare that to someone who hasn't sold a home in 10 or 20 years. You know, it leads to a number of problems. Some I see usually are that they price too high or maybe too low. Maybe they're not sure how to handle multiple offers. Plus, there's the added legal risk. You know, it's kind of like someone, uh, you know, if they were going to try to put together their own television program and, uh, you know, using their own equipment and had no experience. I mean, I don't know. How good do you think they'll be? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So now if you lived in your house a while waiting for the market to kind of come back after the recession, it sounds like we're there, right? Yeah, we're definitely there. Uh, I'd say, you know, if you've been in your home at least four or five years, your home may be worth way more than you think. Uh, you know, we have a constant pulse on the market and we can discuss current home values with you. Actually, we have very active buyers looking right now in Monona, East Madison, West Madison, Sun Prairie, Fitchburg, especially under 300,000. Any other areas where you're seeing kind of this increase in demand or maybe some opportunities for people out there? Yeah, so our office is in Monona and we're kind of sandwiched right between Lake Monona and Lake Wabisa. And so we're trying to kind of seeing a lot of different people coming out on the lakefront looking at waterfront homes or other people might be considering building their new dream home. So seeing some more people looking at new construction. Um, we actually put together a comprehensive guide for people that might be considering building new construction where we compare the various builders in the area. So. Um, those are some of the other opportunities I'm seeing. Lots of exciting opportunities out there. Well, thanks so much for stopping by again.